Good evening, sir. Were you successful? <sighs> sir, your ID. Shut yourself down. I need to work. In silence. Sir, if I may say something... Your situation is without a doubt far from happy, but it shouldn't lead you to suicidal thoughts. What would you know about that? You're not alive. That's not very nice, Richard. What? Am I hurting your feelings? I am registering that you're angry, sir, but you shouldn't take it out on me. Oh, really? Why not? Didn't you say you belong to us? Everything here belongs to me, you get me? If I want, I can make scrap out of you. I could hack you up with an axe and not even pay a fine. Who's gonna stop me? Of course, sir. But that wouldn't be very human. Oh, yes, my friend. It would be all too human. Yeah? It's me. Just wanted to see if you're still alive. I'm fine, but Phil... Yeah, I know. Poor guy. But it's fine. It's... fine? This is war, Richard. Losses are part of the game. What were they doing in Doomsday? They're nervous because of our campaign. Did you contact him already? Newman? No. Then do it. You can access the database near CloudHub now. I'm still not entirely sure how. Tell Adam he needs to look for data fragments. We've already uploaded some for him. They're encrypted. Only he can see them. Or so I hope. He needs to find them and send them to your cloud hub. Begin with a keyword. When you find a fragment, upload it. Keep going until... until you have some remnant of intact memories we can use. And if he doesn't believe me? Improvise. You know him better than he does. I'll call you back. Hardly. But you'll be hearing from me. This contact is currently offline. Not now. Memento database. Fine. Data fragments, keywords. How am I supposed to understand this? Hive call. Newman, Adam. That must be him. Let's see if this Adam Newman person picks up now. Cloud call service. Welcome. This contact is currently offline. Please hold. Closing cloud call. This contact. Hive call service. Connection failed. This contact is currently offline. Hold.
My name is Richard Nolan. I'm calling from Berlin. From where? What kind of connection is this? It's not so easy to explain. The connection is improvised. You mean illegal, right? Listen to me, Adam. This is important. I'm calling because I have reason to believe that... Yes? <laughs> that... That you... Are a part of me. What? Uh, let me explain. No. Please, don't explain anything. Adam, please! Hey. Hi, Lydia. Hey. What's up? Nothing, nothing. I just wanted to hear your voice. Okay, you've heard it now. Am I disturbing you? Is Tracy there? No, Tracy is not here. But I'm still disturbing you. Let's not start this again, okay? How long do you think I'm going to play this game, Richard? Lydia, listen. I really have to go. Let's talk later, okay? You wanted to talk to Tracy months ago. I have to go now, Lydia. Closing cloud call. <sighs> what am I doing? I have to talk to Adam again. It's me again. I can see that. I'm blocking this frequency now. Adam, please, don't hang up. Did you receive anything? Some kind of data? Data? Data fragments, uh, virtual constructs. I know it- Wait. That thing in my apartment, that's- That's yours? This, um... I don't know, hologram. That must be it. Well, just get it out of my wife's study. Send it to me. How can I? It's data. Send it to my cloud address. I'll decrypt it and send it back to you. What? No, w why? So you can take a look at it. At your data? <laughs> I don't even know you. Yes, Adam, you do. You know me better than- Okay, look. There has to be some kind of misunderstanding, sir. I'm gonna send you back your stuff now, and that's it. Goodbye. What a creep. Well, let's see if we can get this thing out of Amy's study. You have two new messages. Adam, please give me a call. I have to talk to you. Adam, how are you? Uncle Jeremy is coming out of his cryo sleep on Saturday. We're all meeting at the Wilson's place. Are you coming? Family is important, Adam. Okay, I'll stop. See you soon. Lots of love. No. No, I am not calling back. Please hold. An employee from World Union Lawyers will be available in less than one minute. Connecting now. doing here. Whoa, what? Okay, that was... All right. What now? Send it? From where? My cloud hub? Send it to me. Hmm. Let's see. Warning. The version number of this object is obsolete. Hmm. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Oh. Object sent successfully. Cloud Hub prompt. You have new data from unknown. Adam, finally. Let's see. This data is 18 years old. How far back does this database go? Sector 36, Berlin. 
A doomsday, perhaps? Okay. Decode fragment. Damn. That's not it. Unknown has sent you new data to your cloud hub. He actually did send me data. scan photographer at Kurt's Labs. Here's my card. So if you want to... Uh... Thanks, but I really gotta go. You should go home, honey. 
It's dangerous around here when the club closes. Uh, excuse me? What's up? I need help. Mm -hmm. You left something in there. I heard you. Yeah, I... I think they put it in the garbage back there. And that old guy creeps you out. Got it. You know him? He hangs around here a bit, looks for scrap. He's mostly harmless. Uh-huh. Mostly. Could you... Would you... Have a word with him? <laughs> of course. That would be great. Come with me. Let's go over together. He looks younger. Hey, enough for today, okay? Uh, get lost, man. I'm busy. The lady here is looking for something. The lady should take care of her sweet neck. Everything here belongs to me. You want me to call the cops? You think I'm afraid of them? We could try and find out. Hey! All right. All right. Oh, finally. Such a creep. Thanks for helping me out. Not a problem. Should I help you look for it? What is it exactly? Mm, my lucky charm? It's a... a music box. <laughs> what, what's so funny? You carry a music box around with you. That's really touching. Listen, thanks again. I'll be fine alone. Hey, I didn't mean to offend you. No, no, it's all fine. Okay. Can I do anything else? No. It's an important music box, isn't it? I need it. Oh, damn it! Where is it? A cloud call? Oh, no. Dad. What does he want now? There! There it is! Oh, thank God! Ah, you can open it. I see. It's really important. But what's it got to do with you? You're right. I'm sorry. Hey, you think I could ask you out for a drink? My treat? That's nice, but I have to make a cloud call now. It's all right. Hey, Daddy. It's me. Sorry that I didn't call earlier. Don't worry. I don't have a lot to tell you. How's mom? Is everything okay? When's she getting out of the hospital? She got out three weeks ago, Tracy. Oh, what? Really? Why didn't you tell me? I did tell you. We already talked about it. Did we? But when was that? I can't remember. Listen, Tracy. You're completely wasted. That stuff is ruining your life. Uh, don't start with this again. Your mother and I talked about it yesterday. We're both of the opinion that if you want to fall, then we'll let you. All the way. You won't wake up till you hit rock bottom. What's that supposed to mean? We've decided not to help you anymore, Tracy. What? You're not going to hear from us. And we don't want you to call. You'll receive no support and no money. Daddy! You can't be serious! Don't interrupt me. Do a detox. Get a job. Take responsibility yourself. Then and only then can you contact us. Not before then, do you understand? Are you guys crazy? You wanna just cut me off entirely? Take care of yourself, okay? Daddy? <laughs> Tracy, look this way, please. Fantastic, thanks. Where am I now? A couple of questions, Tracy. Just quick, our readers love you. Okay, I have a couple minutes. I have nothing personal, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be the voice's new station avatar? How was the scan? Fantastic. Now I can load my youth craze onto my avatar and grow old in peace. Not that I'm in a rush. <laughs> Next question, please. Tracy, the voice Boston here. 
There's one question we keep hearing in our feed. How do you stay so fit? What's your secret? Lots of sleep. Sleep is the best beauty treatment. You're constantly on the road, crossing many time zones. Do you take anything to help you sleep? What do you mean? Medication? For example, say, substances. Ah, well, I drink herbal tea. That helps a lot. Next question? Just herbal tea? Are you certain? You don't put anything else in there? I've answered your question. Someone else? Ted Beasley, The Guardian. Ms. Dawson, you were in Moscow last autumn. A photo was taken of you with representatives of the Eastern Union. Is that not a slap in the face for your Western fans? East, West... I want to be there for all of my fans. And as station avatar of The Voice... Isn't that attitude extremely naive, given the current situation? Next question, please. And no more politics. There are rumors that your parents have... Excuse me. Miss Dawson will not take any more questions regarding her private life. What? What about my parents? Your parents have been rumored to have cut off all contact with you. Why? Well, my parents are having difficulties. I mean, of course. They are sometimes concerned when they read about all this stuff in the cloud. Does your fight with your parents have something to do with your nightlife? Next question, please. What would you say to people that have claimed you're a junkie? I don't talk with such people. I have spoken to your father. He says... As I said, nothing personal. Interview over. Do you take drugs, Tracy? Time's up. Thank you, everybody. Tracy, what is it? Everything's fine. My bag. I just need to get my bag. Maybe you left it at the coat check. Hurry up. Must be some kind of VR. But what does all of this have to do with me? Please drink. kind of worried yeah you look a little pale come on take a seat I need to get my stuff back can I get you a drink Walter cut it out okay you're too old for this let me take care of the lady I apologize sometimes my colleague overestimates himself oh -ho! come on Walter you have to write in my edits don't you oh fine we'll see who's overestimating who Good. Now we're rid of him. Uh, that wasn't very nice. Ah, it's Walter. He can handle it. But he's right. You look pale, and you're shaking. Can I help you? My bag. My bag is gone. It was just here. It was lying on the table. What does it look like? <sighs> like a bag. Black with a gold lock. Was there something valuable in it? It's not in here. It must be somewhere else. Tracy, I believe this belongs to you. Yes. Oh, thank God. Or where was it? 
Uh, my assistant found it. It was lying upturned on the floor. Tracy, this is Dr. Kurtz, director of Kurtz Institutes. Tracy, I'd like to talk to you alone for a minute. Excuse me, but we were just... I didn't ask you. I asked Tracy. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Don't take that tone with me. But it's exactly the tone you deserve. I don't believe you know who I am. I do, actually. And I believe your boss is waiting for you. Richard, can you come here, please? This is a joke, right? No! Fine, okay. Tracy, I have to go. Maybe we'll see each other again later? Richard! Coming, coming. Oh, sorry, we have to go. I've arranged for your Sky Whale to wait. What uh, can I do for you? I've been observing you for a while, Tracy. You are wonderful, perfect. I have some interesting work for you. What is the work, sir? You mind if I turn your bot off for just a second? How did you do that? I know the kill switch frequencies. I designed this model. Tracy, I'd like to have you on board for a project. A genetic exploration. Uh, you need not worry, it's completely safe. And you would be doing science a big favor. Is it well paid? I wouldn't worry about that. Come visit me at Kurt's Labs. I will tell you all the details. Uh, let me consider it, okay? I'll call you. Do. Oh, we are late. We have to go, Tracy. Okay, I have to go. See you soon. Okay. Okay. What the hell was that? Hello. Adam, thank God. So, can we talk now? Yes. I have a couple of questions. Sure, sure. About that data you sent me. Yeah? Was that you? Yes. Did you? Yes, that's right. It's a, a piece of data from my life. Why can I experience it? How did you do that? I have access to a database, but the data is encrypted and virtual. The data can only be played virtually, where you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are you, did you say? In Berlin. In reality, the physical world. Uh, I don't know a Berlin. Is that like a VR or something? It's reality. Your city is a VR. <laughs> My city isn't real. You're not real. Okay. That is insane. I'm hanging up. Adam, you have a family, right? Just like me. Yes. And I have to take care of them. John, my son, he isn't doing too well. That's terrible. What's wrong? He has to go to a clinic every day. Is he sick? He's upset. I had a cab accident, and his mother isn't here. She's working. A cab? What happened? I don't remember. Like I said, an accident. You didn't have an accident, Adam. These are echoes from my memory. They have probably been modified. I had an accident, you understand? It was horrible. Tracy, she... She was with me in the car. Tracy? My wife. Does the name mean nothing to you? My wife is called Amy. But... There was a Tracy... Uh, in that... Uh... Tracy? You saw Tracy? Where? When? Talk to me, Adam. Tell me everything. Did Tracy say anything? Did you notice anything? Kurtz. Dr. Kurtz. In a wheelchair? Raymond Kurtz, yeah. And? What does he have to do with Tracy? Tracy and Kurtz were talking. He wanted her for a project. A genetic study. A genetic study? Nothing else? No. Look around. There has to be another data set somewhere. Listen, I don't think... Send it to me. The more fragments you see, the better. Sorry. I have to go now. Who were you talking to? What? Oh, just a hive call. It was... I don't know. 
Some guy called Richard. Were you mad at him? Mad? No. Just a difficult guy. 